Howdy friends, welcome back to Make and Play here at the Purple Turtle Art Studio. Huh. I am Leanne Hale, art educator, artist, and your hostess with the mostest today. We are continuing our zoological park, and today we are going to make a map so we can get around. And I want to remind you, if you enjoy what we're doing, you can always leave me a tip at Venmo, at Lee-Hale, and I would really appreciate it so I can keep producing these awesome videos. Okay, so we need a map, right? We need to be able to get around. And we're also gonna take that map and we're gonna use it as a game because we need to play, all right? It's fun to do all the making, but then we get the bonus of the play. So I'm gonna make myself a map. And I'm gonna start with a circle in the middle because that's gonna be my center point and that's gonna be my carousel. I am using a Sharpie so you can see, but you need to use pencils so you can erase lines that you don't want. You can trace all the way around this, um, all the way around this circle to make our center piece. And this is also gonna be pretty symmetrical. Doesn't have to be, you can make those choices. And now I'm going to make lines that come off of both sides. I'm sectioning off my different areas for the different animals, okay? The different enclosures. And this down here, I'm gonna make this one big because this is gonna be my entrance. This is the entrance. And then I'm gonna have one more, let's see how it's doing that. Oh, okay, so here we go. Let's make these, let's make these sections real quick. So this is the wall to this section. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a line here, and then I'm gonna go out. I might as well go ahead and do the other side. We'll just, we'll just stay symmetrical. I'm gonna do a line here, and then out. All right. So we need the walls or the, the edges of these enclosures. So I'm gonna make it come down here. You can stay very angular like this or you could make it more rounded in the corners. I've done both when I've been working on this project. Uh, get out of my way, Prisma Colors. So I've got two areas to put some animals in here. When, since you're working with a pencil, you can come back and erase these lines that we don't want. I have a Sharpie, so I can't do that. I have to work with it. All right, so then let's do the same idea on this side and both sides here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Remember, you can always pause the video so that you can catch up. And then we have room for a smaller space here, so I'm gonna put one more here. Not all animals need a huge space. Some of them need very small spaces. I mean, a lizard, I doubt, would need the same space as like a tiger. No, probably not. All right, so here's my entrance. You can decide how you want your entrance. Maybe you want a big arch that says zoo on it or um, some pillars or a gate. You get to do whatever you would like to do for your entrance. And we have learned how to draw some animals this week so you can use those animals in your map or you can put new animals in your map. Just make sure you do what we always do when we're drawing and we start with Yes, shapes, we start with shapes. So I think that this one, I'm gonna do, let me give myself some lines real quick. So I have something to work with and I'm gonna work upside down. Okay, here we go. I am going to make this say zoo. 
could have it say a park. You could have it your name, like the the park or the zoo is named after you because you're the most important person to that park. All right. Here's my cool entrance. I don't know why those little circles are there. I just felt like it. I could put some flags. Awesome. Then I can I can come back. I can make this. I can get all sorts of fancy on here. It is up to you. All right. So this is my entrance. These are my animal enclosures. But I also want this to be a game. So the way I'm going to make it a game is I'm going to have spots that you stop on as you roll the die. Okay. So I'm going to take a circle template. You could use a nickel, a quarter, the bottom of anything that is round, this glue thing, whatever you want. I just happen to have this handy dandy thing here. So this is my start. And let me use a Sharpie, sorry. This is my start. And then I am gonna have these circles go all the way through my zoo and you have the, the the goal is to visit each one of the animal enclosures and pick up a token from that animal enclosure and bring it back outside the zoo to go home all right and once you collect all of those then you get to be the winner I'm doing the circles first so I, I know how much room I have to do the rest of my artwork. All right. So I'm going to put the carousel in the middle. And I'm going to put all the other animals in these different sections. All right. And I want to make sure that I create enclosures that look like where the animal would be. So if I'm going to put the Asian elephant in here, maybe I'm going to draw some bamboo. And I can show you real quick how to draw some bamboo. It's super easy. Here's, this is gonna be a bamboo wall. I'm drawing upside down like normal, so you can see. When you're drawing bamboo, you start with just these long rectangles and then we're gonna put some lines, curved lines. I'm leaving spaces in between them because I want to put some of the leaves of the bamboo before I put the bamboo that's behind it. If it's really a bamboo forest, we need these animals to have something to eat, some leaves. There's also some little lines and dots on that bamboo. You could put a panda in one of the enclosures. You can put all sorts of things. So now I can fill in the background. I'm putting these little lines like this, and that means that there's there's more bamboo back here. And it's that whole implied texture, like we're adding some of these lines. Let's the person who's looking at this understand that that's filled in, but we don't have to go like super detailed because it's just not needed. We're letting our viewer be smart and use their brain to figure some of this out. See how that looks like a wall? You often see bamboo at zoos, especially when it's the country where the animal is from. Pretty cool. You could also have, if you wanted to, you could have an area that has rocks and lots of grasses. Maybe some big plants. 
we have to decide what you want to put in your areas all right those are decisions that you get to make as an artist I have to remind myself that I'm drawing upside down. You can go outside of these areas. You don't have to stay within them. It's up to you, all right? So the deal is, is that you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna design your whole map the way you want it. And you've got some skills, some tools that we've gone through with drawing some different animals. And you can always go back to the video where we drew the peacock and the giraffe or the one where we drew the tortoise and the elephant all right so let me get you the one that i'm working on all right so here's one that's drawn and i'm working on coloring it so i have my giraffe enclosure it's got these big trees do you see how the trees are smaller and higher on the picture plane because they're in the back all right, this helps give some proportion to these giraffe. And also I've put this little wall here so it looks like they're, they can go below that. I've got my carousel in the middle. Over here I've got some tigers. This one's hiding, you just see his tail? I feel like I had to have some tigers right now. This one we just see his little face peeking out. He's got a little paw, he's like, mm, hello. Over here I've got my elephant. I think that I might include a little tiny baby over here. And then here's my birds. Here's my Mr. and Mrs. Peacock. And there's some little rose bushes behind there. I always think of peacocks, I think of fancy gardens. And over here, I have some tortoises. And then we also have a frog pond back here in the same enclosure. And there's a little frog peeking up over a lily pad. And the carousel in the middle. And here's my entrance. I just did these like classic columns for the entrance. So what you're gonna do is once you get everything drawn in, go ahead and start coloring. I have a lot of coloring to do. <laughs> I have a whole lot of coloring to do. Um, but you're just, gonna, you're just gonna decide how you want to go about doing yours, okay? And then um, when we come back, I'm going to show you how to play the game because it's awesome, all right? So get busy coloring and I'll be right back. Howdy friends, let's play. All right, so I still have to finish coloring, but we're trying to get these videos out to you so that you can make and play. And remember, if you like what you see, Venmo me, thanks. So here we go, I've got a die, and I've got some tokens here. I've got uh, Bart and Ernie. I'm going to be uh, Ernie because I feel like I look a little bit more like Ernie. Got my little orange, round orange face. Need to get somebody with a nice thin. This would be my sister. She's a nice long thin face. If I was playing with her, I'd make her be Bert. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna go first. Ernie's gonna go first and Ernie gets three. So the goal of this game is to get to each enclosure and collect one of the pom-poms, you can put whatever you want in here. Maybe one's a dime, one's a penny, one's a nickel, one's a quarter. You have to get one of each and get back out of the zoo, all right? And you have to exit on the right number. So if you get here to exit, if you get here to exit and you get a two, you gotta wait. Or you can go back around and come back. If you land on lost map, you have to come back and start over because you have to get a new map. All right, I've thought this through. Here we go. So I got three, here we go. Bert's gonna go three. Ernie is gonna go three. One, two, three. All right, let's see, Bert. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's so close. Two. Ooh, look at there. One, two. So I think that, um, what you have to do is you have to get, once you land on this one, you, you go ahead and you get your little pom-pom. So he's on here. I knew Ernie was gonna be the best. So I'm taking one of the little tokens and I'm gonna put one of the little pom-poms and I'm saving it over here. And now let's see what Bert does. Bert gets two. Mm, he can't, he can't go. He can either lose a turn or go backwards. And I think that the best thing for, uh, for him to do would be go backwards. One, two. 
But you don't want to hit lost map. That is no way no. Okay, Ernie's going out one. All right, Bert. Five. So I have to look at it and see. One, two, three, no. One, two, three, four, no. One, two, three, four. I don't think he can do much. So let's do. Um, one, two, three, four, five. He would go back to the beginning. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, either way, he's going back to the beginning. Sorry, Bert. Loser. Here we go. Ernie. Four. One, two, three, four. All right. I'm sorry I called you a loser. Bert, you're my best friend. All right, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he has to, no, he goes on there. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. He needs to go here. There you go. Much better feeling for you, Bert. Two. Hmm. If I go this way, I'm going to be one, two, okay, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. oh, look at there, one, two, three, four, five, six, there you go, Bert, all right, two, one, two, Ernie, my main man. So what you're going to do is you're going to continue rolling the die and going through. Now I'm into this. <laughs> one, two, three, four. I don't think you go up there. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, you're going to continue playing until you pick up one of the little tokens from each one of your enclosures and you get back out of the zoo and whoever does that first wins. All right. I think it's gonna be Ernie, okay? I just do. Bert gets a little frustrated. Ernie usually wins and he doesn't even really care. So I'm gonna continue playing and I'm gonna continue making and I will see you next time. So remember, keep creating and be kind.